interesting what's going to happen now. Okay, in the first round, each of you must prepare a cake for me. A cake, it's easy. You need to start with the preparation of the dough for the biscuit. Everything is simple here. You will need flour, eggs, milk, a little sugar, freshly squeezed lemon juice, right? Huh, it's much simpler. You need to quietly repeat after grandma. Oh. Ah, how painful! Oh, granny, what are you doing? Look where you're shitting lemon juice! Oh, Emma, I'm sorry, honey. I didn't even notice. Let's go back to the future biscuit. The mixture is already ready. It only remains to pour it into the mold. You need to do this very carefully. Oh, look at that. Let's put it in the oven. Oh, no, I don't want to deal with flour after that. I'd rather cook a cake for Kate based on their goodies, right? To get started, we need to roll out Cuba Booba gum. But I won't roll it into a pancake myself. Here, I will need the help of heavy artillery. The paper is quite suitable. Yeah, just look at that. There it is. And now a dump truck with marmalade bears. Come on. Come on, come on. It's time to dump them right into the pan so that they will melt. Perfect. Now you need to carefully take the frying pan with the help of special tags and pour the melted marmalade directly onto the gum pancake. Yeah, look at these colors. All this needs to be repeated. The second layer of gum, lower it, come on. Yes, perfect. Now another layer of marmalade. One more layer of gum. And it's done. I think grandma cooked something too. Yeah, my sponge cake is ready. It's time to divide it into two layers. Come on, just like that. Yay. And now we spread whipped cream between them. It'll be very tasty. So good. Look at this perfection. Another layer. Zach, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, because it's boring. Look at my cake. And it's not even over yet. I will decorate it with droplets of food dyes so I can make it brighter further. But the droplets don't suit me. Well, you need to use a napkin to distribute the dye around the perimeter of the entire cake. Just look at this, how I'm gonna do it with the spatula. It's going to be perfect. Yeah, such marks will definitely satisfy her. Beauty, now I'm going to make a whole ride in the center and put as many Skittles candy as possible. Everyone loves them, so they certainly won't be superfluous. Yeah, it seems that red candies were a little short, but never mind. I have more. Watch everything and be envious, people. This is how a real cake should look like. Hmm. Interesting. I need to decorate a cake, too. But candy is just boring and harmful. But a strawberry is completely different matter. First, you need to get rid of the green top. In TikTok, I saw that it can be done with a tube. And then the strawberries just need to be cut in two parts. Look. Well, I have a rainbow. And it's gonna be unrealistically beautiful. Okay, well, I have some fresh mint leaves and slice them with lemon. It'll be much more beautiful this way. Yay. Uh, yeah, right. This is more beautiful. No, this. No, mine. No, this. What kind of dispute? Strange. I should decorate a cake, too. However, I only have gum left, so it'll do anyway. Hey, would you stop swearing? Ugh, let Kate decide everything. Wow, how beautiful! I don't even know whose cake to start with. Everything looks very appetizing. Well, Granny, let's start with your cake. Hmm. How sour. Ew. What is it, lemon? Grandma, what did you put? 
put so much lemon in there. It's impossible to eat without wincing. The next candy is a cake from Chef Zack. It's not only beautiful, but it's also very big. Ooh, there's a bunch of Skittles candies hiding inside. Cool. Hmm. Oh, the taste is simply unreal. Wow, what kind of pink cake is this? Look at that. Like a cake from Barbie. Hmm, Emma, did you really manage to make a cake out of gum? I've never seen this before. Whoa, so stretchy. <laughs> cool. Mmm, it's very tasty. I didn't think a chewing gum cake would be so delicious. Hmm, and do you know what else is good about this cake? So stretchy and so sweet. Oh, I just love it. That's right. I can inflate bubbles. Ooh, it's not just delicious but also fun. Emma, your cake wins this round. Hooray! No wonder I tried so hard for so long. What are we going to cook in the second round? And in the second round, you will cook scrambled eggs for me. I didn't have breakfast today, so I would love to try it. Scrambled eggs? It's possible. First, you need to professionally separate the whites and the yolks. You can do it with one toss of a knife. Yay. What? So posh. Does he really think it's hard to do it for us? Uh, okay. It's actually hard. What should I do? These were the last eggs I had. Oh, that's right. A regular syringe will help me. With it, you can collect the protein separately and yolk separately. And put it right on the hot frying pan. And I can make scrambled eggs unusual. I will make not one, but many small ones. Uh, I have a difficult job ahead of me. The whites will need to be tinted a little to make them brighter. Now, with the help of syringe, I can make scrambled eggs in the form of a rainbow. Oh, look at these colors. Yeah, yeah I have brilliant ideas. And now Yolk will serve as sun. Isn't this really cool? Why such difficulties? You can just make the cutest scrambled egg in the form of a kitten. Ah, yolks are just very similar to big eyes. Just look at how cool it turned out. Granny, what are you doing? Oh no, because of you my sunshine has spread! Ah! I did it accidentally. Oh, but my cat is so cute. You can't do that! It's not fair! And that's up to me to decide. I think I'll start with little ones from Emma. Hmm. It's delicious, of course, but it's too little. Although, the idea is interesting. Yeah. Huh, what did Chef Zack do this time? Uh, what kind of filth is this? I will not try such a slurred yolk. It's too disgusting. But I'll eat a cute kitten from Grandma. It looks so unusual. Hmm. It's also delicious. Grandma, congratulations on your victory. Thanks a lot. I knew you'd like it. I wonder what we will cook in the third round. I want churros. Do you know what it is? Of course. I'll do it easily. The beginning is simple. You need to mix flour, sugar, a pinch of salt, water, and oil. To make the dough turn out without lumps, the machine will mix it. Since I'm cooking everything using dyes today, why not use them this time? It turned out to be such a pink bloom mixture. With the help of a regular bag, I'll squeeze out the churros in a perfect size and put them directly into boiling oil. It seems to sound simple. I just need to repeat after a professional. Okay. Oh, no. No package is clearly suitable for me. The whole mixture is out. It's disgusting, but I have an idea. What if we have churros that are made from marshmallow braids? Huh, <laughs> they're already delicious. But after the butter, they will become even tastier. I don't know what churros is, but I'm learning fast. 
I will knead the dough from them in a bottle. So it will be much more convenient to pour them out. Now you need to shake the ball thoroughly so the mixture turns out great. Ah, I overdid it. Uh, Grandma, stop, calm down. Because of you, we're all shaking. Oh. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you for your help. Well, it's time to squeeze out our perfect chews. I'll cook them in the oven. Oh, so good. Let's go. Oh, a little ice cream wouldn't hurt. With it, anything will be tastier. Final touch and sprinkles. It will be both tasty and beautiful. <laughs> Perfect. Ready? What is this? Huh? What? Churros? Look how dense churros I have turned out. They need to be watered with honey, and everything is ready. Honey, this is not churros, <laughs> but ordinary cookies. I wonder what my churros candy look like. Uh, not so good. Well, I can do anything else right now. Uh, you don't understand what real churros are, do you? Well, maybe it's for the best, Kate. Only I made the real churros. I can't wait to try all of them. Let's start with Emma's. Uh, what is this? It looks like softened marshmallow. Okay, Grandma, you certainly did a good job. It turned out very tasty. Only, this is shortbread, not churros. Well, I see that Chef Zach really tried. Oh, Worley, his dish is most similar to churros. Hmm, smells amazing. And it's very tasty. I've never tried such churros yet. Congratulations on your victory. Oh, yeah, I told you that only I know how to make real churros. You do. Just a second, baby Tina is already finishing drawing. What is there? Wow, she wants a Lego cake. I see that Sandy is absolutely delighted. She has already prepared a real Lego for her cake. Wow, looks spectacular. And, Chef, have you decided to use Lego molds? Yeah, turn around. What? It's not for you. Ugh, smells awesome. A red pepper? Why did you eat it? Tamel, chocolate was not clear. I was taught this way in culinary school. Then we need to pour the melted chocolate into the Lego molds. I took colored chocolate because Legos are all different colors. And some Mentos. Wow, chef, did you freeze chocolate with your breath? That's right. Look at these perfect Legos. It's a delight. And what are the others doing? Are you all right, guys? Who came up with stuff? Oh, Grandma, she's at a loss. I've almost assembled a Lego crane. So we put an umbrella here. Oh, goodness, what's going on? Grandma, just don't worry. Your granddaughter just has her own approach to cake decorating. Apparently, real Lego gives more inspiration, right? Oh, my head hurts from all this construction. My cake will be much better and calmer. I'll just cut off these with a regular glass. Well, it looks like Lego. I think you get it. I'm not young anymore, but that looks awesome. What's the chef doing? I am doing perfection. I have already made a Lego man. Heads out of a cake and supplemented it with a Lego made of chocolate. Oh, Grandma, don't breathe on my cake. Look what I did. It's really cool. Tina, the guys have already made cakes. Oh my gosh. Is that a Lego crane? How cool it is. Oh, it fell. Well, okay, maybe it tastes even better. Oh, it's not a cake! Sis, have you decided to break my teeth? And this is more like a cake. Let's try it. It's very tasty. Um, can we eat these ones? Let's see. Oh, baby Tina, you need to be more careful. There may be more than just edible things here. Everyone decided to fool me. I'll try this cake. I hope it'll be real. Mm, what a cake! I give away the victory to this one. Congratulations, Grandma. The baby wants a Kinder Surprise Cake. Will you do it? 
Oh, what is that? Some kind of an egg, right? The chef has already armed himself with a huge uniform. It'll be something. And I just had a package of Kinder Surprises in the pantry. Let's see. But in the meantime, I'll trade one egg. No one is against it, right? Oh, can grandma have one egg? Thank you, Sandy. You helped me. Um, why do you need one egg, grandmother? Have you never tried Kinder Surprises? Of course not. There was no such thing in my youth. There were ordinary eggs from a chicken. An omelet was made to cook from them. But a Kinder Surprise? Hmm. But I've already figured it out. Grandma! Did you take all my Kinder Surprises? How could you? I get them for myself! Oh, I'm sorry, my honey. Um, you'll buy yourself more. Just don't get mad. Oh, minus one headache. So let's get back to the cake. We will warm up the egg filling a little and pour it on the cake. Just look what a beautiful pattern turned out. Just gorgeous. So let's decorate everything with Kinder chocolates. It looks great. Oh, what's that noise? Get off me! Enough! Oh, how do I get rid of you? Maybe you'll stick on a cake? No? Oh, I've ruined my cake. What should I do? The cake is not decorated yet, but it's already spoiled. Sandy, don't worry. It happens to everyone. Now grandma will help. Don't even think about trying to win. My idea is way better. I'll make a cake inside a chocolate egg. This will be a direct reference to the Kinder Surprise. Do not forget about the milk layer. Hmm, how sweet. It's incredible. And I'll put them over here. Perfect. I want to look and look at this. How are you guys? Ready? Can we start? Oh, it seems Sandy didn't have time to do anything. And grandma tried to help. Wow, these cakes! Is this a huge kinder egg? Oh, goodness, what is this? Kinder ruins? Very bad. Back to the delicious stuff. So, this cake looks simple. Mmm, but it's so delicious. And I really want to try this one now. That's a huge kinder. It'll definitely be beautiful. Oh, it's so heavy. Ah, uh, oh. I'm clearly not strong enough. It fell. But whatever. I'll try it anyway. Hmm. Wow. Look at this. This is absolutely perfect. I give it a million likes. Wow, chef. Congratulations. The victory is yours. What do you want, baby? Oh, it's a banana. Come on. Oh, I know that. I ate bananas when I was a baby, and it was a delicacy. Sandy, is everything okay? I'm not repeating anything. Um, it seemed to you. Oh, I don't get it. Banana cake is a piece of cake. I need some bananas. Peeling it off. And I'm going to cut it in these circles. So, we have prepared the bananas, and we need to put them in the mold. We can use our hands and some dough on top. Well, isn't it gorgeous? Wow, Grandma. Chef, look at this. Get this mess away from me. Don't even want to see it. I'm creating a new culinary masterpiece. I need premium white chocolate for my cake. First, I'm melting the chocolate. And then pouring everything into my professional tool. And then... We're gonna spray on the banana cake. Get ready, it's gonna be hot. Yeah. I'm gonna cover it entirely. Just perfect. Oh no. What is that? Wait! I have an idea! Or 
Mario will always come to the rescue. We're going to smash everything in a crumb. Hurry! Done. Now we put everything on a plate. Don't forget a single crumb. And some caramel. Mixing it. It turned out a sweet, delicious filling. And I'll put it in the banana peel. There we go. A chocolate banana is ready. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, Sandy, that's actually original. And I don't think you should get so mad because it looks very good. And this is kind of superfluous. Are you sure you can eat it? Oh, is that a joke? Whatever. Sandy, you're doing great. I've made the best cake. Well, let's go back to it. Now I'm gonna cover my Madonna cake with a delicious and sweet pill. It'll look much more plausible. <laughs> How do you like it? Like, come on. Tell me this is not a real banana. Guys, don't bite. They all look amazing. And here's grandma. And here I oh! Oh, Grandma is falling! Oh, wow. at least the pie is safe. Oh, I'll take it as a reward. It looks good. Let's start the tasting. Where's the third one? Um, uh, no? Okay. Let's try this one first. Wow, it looks great. I hope it tastes so good. Mmm, that's amazing. And now, this one. Such a pie should be eaten with a fork. It looks like grandma's. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, that's amazing! Who did she lose? Well, grandma's pie wins. It's amazing! Wow, congratulations, Sandy. You've won. Or grandma. Grandma has won, too. Everyone has one. We'll start with a simple one. Cook me some delicious pancakes. Pancakes, I can do that. I've made so many pancakes in my life. I know their recipe by heart. First, you need to mix flour with milk. Then break the egg into the resulting mixture. Zach, what are you waiting for? Repeat after me. How do you say you need to do this? I have a deep plate. The only thing left is pour flour there. And the more the better. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, yeah, it's not easy to cope with flour. Next come the eggs. You also need to be careful with them. And we must not forget about the milk. Grandma taught it that way. Whoa, Grandma, yes, you have a full-fledged doll ready. Yes, yes, there will be pancakes soon. Damn it, what have I done? Granny, it's all your fault. I was distracted by you and accidentally poured my doll. But never mind, I think after I shake it up, everything will be okay. Strange. Uh, the stupid mixer is just stuck. Come on, get out of there. Uh, where are the mixer nozzles? Oh no, how do I get them out? Ugh. Apparently they have settled in my dough forever. <laughs> yeah, Zach, you're a lousy cook. We'll have to cook the most delicious pancakes ourselves. I don't have any competitors anyway. Just look at this beauty. So beautiful. Of course, these pancakes need to be poured with maple syrup, so they will become even tastier. A piece of butter wouldn't hurt either. Granny turned out, of course, not bad, but too boring. Why not make pancakes also colorful? So it'll be more interesting to eat them. Wow, beauty. The dough is ready. Let's cook. My pancakes are in the form of famous characters. So they will be bright, tasty, and memorable. Such beauty will definitely not leave your head for a long time. So beautiful. Let's flip it. Just a little more on the other side. And ready. 
Well, everyone got such beautiful pancakes. What should I do? That's right. Why well, cook pancakes from da? You can just take the finished one. For example, cut out circle of bread with the help of cups. To make them tastier, you need just sprinkles and whipped cream. And if you add a little bright sprinkles, my brand pancakes will become even tastier. Look! It's almost ready. The last gesture. Look at this beauty. Kate, it's time to pick a winner. Wow, I didn't expect such a variety of pancakes. Let's start with Zach. I hope this pancake won't disappoint me. Although they look quite strange. But sprinkles and cream are good. Well, let's move on. Who are these blue freaks? Original. But are they delicious? Ooh, I really like it. This time, they definitely tried for me. Well, the only one left is from Grandma. Grandma, don't let me down. Mmm, so gorgeous. Oh, a taste of my childhood. Grandma, you know best how to make delicious pancakes, so the victory in this round goes to you. Oh, hooray, don't worry. Someday you will be lucky, too. Are you ready for the second round? Then make some delicious hot chocolate for me right now. We'll be done. Easy. While everyone is chatting, I, as the smartest, enjoy Nutella. Zach, aren't you ashamed of yourself? I need this Nutella to make hot chocolate for Kate. I plan to win this round, too. To do this, I need to stir the Nutella with milk. Then put this mixture on the fire. And of course, stir it well. Mmm, smells delicious. Oh yeah, the smell is amazing. It's time for me to start cooking. But the milk won't open. Ugh, I'll finish you off anyway. Oh no! I'm covered in milk myself. I definitely need to win. So that sacrifices were not in vain. To do this, I use the favorite chocolates of all people on the planet. I will definitely not lose face with them. Watch and learn. Hot chocolate is the last century. Today, chocolate is served separately because it looks more beautiful this way. And it also is much tastier. I just know an excellent form from serving it. It just needs to be smeared in a special shape. This way, they're gonna be half spheres. And then I'll put them together to make a ball. I'll pour cocoa inside so it will taste even better. And some marshmallows, too. And now, just close it. Voila! And I'm gonna put more chocolate on top. Just perfect. Now you can pour hot milk into a glass. It is enough to throw one ball into it as it immediately becomes chocolate. Oh, so difficult. My granddaughter loves homemade cocoa and hot chocolate. I like it too. What is this smell? Ah, oh, Zach, your hot chocolate is burning. Oh no, I'm gonna turn it off. Oh, why is chocolate so hard? Did I not cook anything? Oh no. Well, let's pretend that I planned it. Chocolate sculpture. Well, well, well. Zach, what did you do? It doesn't really look like cocoa or hot chocolate. Mm, big deal, it's just a bunch of chocolate bars. That won't do. Let's see what my beloved granny has prepared for me. Mmm, homemade cocoa. Yummy. Also with cookies. Mmm, so good. The only thing left is to try what a miracle Chef Tina has prepared. The pitch, of course, is much more interesting than the rest. Whoa, I think I got it. Her hot chocolate is something incredible. Ooh, look how it melts. So magical. Is it really chocolate? Let's try. 
Mmm, it's just something incredible! The winner of this round is obvious! Tina, you're becoming one! Ugh, obvious. After all, I'm the only professional here. Now I want a cake. Big and delicious. I can cook cakes very well. <gasps> Easy. I can definitely handle it. It's good that grandma knows her granddaughter's taste. I'll be able to cook exactly the cake that Kate loves the most. And I will make it in the shape of a heart so that she also knows that I love her. Just like that. So cute. The layers need to be thoroughly smeared with cream so they won't stick together. The more you got the cream, the more delicious the cake will turn out. Therefore, you need to smear every millimeter of the cake with cream. And now, I'll just even the sides from the cake. Ready. Oh, so good. Now, there are no better decorations for a cake than fresh berries. You need to cut off the extra leaves from them and combine berries with the cake. Berries will give the cake sophistication and, of course, a pleasant taste. How do you like my creation? It's corny somehow. Now I will show you how to cook a delicious and great original cake. First, the cakes should be divided into two parts, after which a piece should be cut out of a cake. Ready. After that, you just need to repeat after grandma, but not for long. After each layer is covered with cream, time to flip and design it. Perfect. The base of the future rainbow is ready. Then we just need to decorate it with the right colors. I'm sure Kate hasn't tried a rainbow cake yet. Well, almost everything is ready. The only thing left is to smooth the cream and add some details. Perfect. And now we can just add some details. A rainbow with a face will be much more cute. And you can also finish off with drawing some clouds. Another one of my masterpieces are ready. Why bother so much? It's a cake. You'll have to eat it anyway. It's enough just to pile it of cream. Everyone loves it. Oh, it seems that Grandma and Tina cakes are clearly better than mine. But I'll fix it right now. To do this, I need to melt some chocolate. I hope I can do it quickly. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yum. So cool. And delicious. It's time to pour this chocolate on this cake. But you need to do this with a special mold. Yeah, don't forget about sprinkles. Look at that! Cool, right? And now... Whoa, so cool! Yeah, that's really good, Zach. Yeah, everyone did their best this time for sure. I don't even know where to start. Probably from Tina's cake. It's so cute. Delicious, but clearly missing something. Grandma, I hope I like your cake more. Mmm, yummy, but there's something missing here. Zach, maybe at least you made the perfect cake. Looks, of course, quite ordinary, but the appearance can be deceptive. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm, and this is exactly the case. I haven't tasted such a delicious cake before in a long time. Zach, congratulations, this time the victory is yours. Finally, I already thought I can't win. 